The architect Les made this great model for me, which I've spoken about before. I didn't realize at the time how valuable it, be, it would actually be to me because even when we had amendments on the plan, Tamlin uh, took uh, uh, kebab sticks and press stick them down in the, in the plan and then they moved as I tried to feel my way around them. Uh, when she taped them down, then I, I couldn't feel the edges. They weren't squared enough, so it was difficult. So this, this model has been totally, totally uh, invaluable. Um, when I first got it from Les, he said, don't be afraid to take it home, rip it apart, pull it uh, to pieces and, and make changes. So I, I did that. And my um, work was a little bit more shoddy, <laughs> actually quite a lot more shoddy than Les's. But we've come today to meet and to kind of almost finalize on the design and the layout of the lights and um, uh, plug fittings and light sockets and things like that, as well as the little amendment we made, the addition of a rear stoop and uh, just uh, positions of windows and things like that. So the architect does something called elevation drawings, where it shows you from each angle, from, from the west side, east side, north to south side, what it would look like, um, the position and location of your windows and doors. And there's so many things to consider and to, to, to bear in mind uh, the location of the gas cylinders from the stove. They have to be a, a meter away from any opening. And uh, just access points, security lights, what will be enough lights, what type of lights, uh, where your plumbing is going to run to, where your septic tank or conservancy tank is going to be in, and the boundary walls and that. And yeah, so, so Les, I, I ripped this thing apart. Now I'm, I'm giving it back to you to. <laughs> To, to fix my fix mess again, and, yeah. and make it look pretty again. Yeah. And uh, yeah, what's what's next for us? You. No. Next is final drawings. Final drawings. Where yeah. we go? Exciting times. Yeah, absolutely. And then it's pricing, and that might give me a bit of a heart attack. I might end up. Uh, yeah. You won't have to go to the docks. <laughs> it's no medical insurance. Yeah. But yeah, so we've been coming to Fisherhaven quite a lot, and um, just really itchy to get stuck in and, and um, sort the plots out. I did speak to a guy that has a uh, digger, um, well, digger dozer, yeah. and he's quoted me. So he would come and rip out all those stumps and then give the plot a, a, a scrape so it's not nice level. Okay. And he charges 550 rand an hour. Yeah. And to get from Hamas to here, that's an hour. That's, he charges from the time he leaves his workshop. So that's the first hour gone, and then it will probably take two or three hours to get the plot level and neat. Um, and then on another occasion, once we've marked that for the <clears throat> for the foundations, we would come and yeah. use the opposite side of the machine to the same thing you use to for the trunk stuff. Yeah. Right. There's, there's about 35 tree stops on that land. Wow. So what had happened before is whoever had cleaned the plot, rather than clear it nicely, they just cut everything to ground level. So when we saw these small saplings coming up, we thought we'd just grab them and pull them out. They were actually disguised in some nice big chunky stumps that were just below the surface. Oh, okay. Enjoy. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, next time we'll have some plans, hopefully. Yeah. Good. Cool. Exciting time.